Hi there, this is a quick training video on how to use the build a mailing list feature in our address book. So we're going to start by going to the address book, which you can access this button here or from the main menu drop down menu. And we'll just go here. And I'm going to show you a couple different ways that you can use build a mailing list depending on who your ideal customer is. I will do it from the perspective of a um, realtor. And then also, if you are a restaurant owner or perhaps a hair stylist, or if your customers might be uh, businesses. So let's start with the businesses. Um, so we'll just click business here. Uh, so the build a mailing list feature uh, in the address book is obviously here where it says build a mailing list. And then uh, under mailing list itself, we're gonna look for businesses and geography. I'm gonna use my old business office address, uh, Hills, California, 90210. Uh, and we're gonna search within a two mile radius. So there are, the 16,416 business records within two miles of this address. So that's probably a, a little too many to market to. So we're gonna come up here under demography and this is probably the most powerful feature if you use SIC codes in your business because we do link with those. And so we're gonna look for financial, uh, financial, financial uh, planning consultants and also financial advisory services. Uh, and again, this is just as an example so that you can see how it works. So that narrows it down from 16,000 to, uh, it's updating 123. And then if I wanted to buy the whole list, it's $24.54. Can't beat that price with a stick. Also, if I wanted to drill down further or get more specific, depending on which type of business I'm looking for, under business details, I can filter by number of employees, what their annual sales are, how long they've been in business, if I only want to market to public companies, um, or if I only want to look for the headquarters, the subsidiary, or something like that. Uh, and then uh, under contact details, if I only want any of this information, I can filter that way. Sometimes what it means is uh, I may have to change the geography and I can increase the radius. So maybe I'm looking five miles or 10 miles or something. Uh, the other thing is if I only want to look for the um, CEOs, the C-suite people or um, the marketing people, I can filter that way. So that's the first way how to use the mailing list if you're looking for a specific business to market to in your business, if you're a B2B business. The second I wanna show you is individuals. Um, I'm gonna do this from the perspective of a realtor. Let's just, so we'll go ahead and clear all of these out. Let's say just as an example, you wanted to uh, send a why rent when you can buy postcard to a particular neighborhood. I read an article the other day that it's less expensive in two thirds of the country to buy than it is to rent. So uh, this is a great time to send this kind of marketing. Uh, so same thing, I'm gonna use uh, this particular address. Within two miles of this address, there are 33,137 records. That's too many to market to. So we'll come here to the demography tab and we'll start with household. Uh, so I only want single family dwelling units. And again, this is all, um, you can tailor all of this depending on what type of client you're looking for. I want people who have been in the residence for two years or longer. People, I don't know, we'll say making $75,000 a year or more. And we only want renters because with the message, why rent when you could buy, you want to target renters, right? And you'll see this is going to knock it down to 354 people. So it, it is 1% of the total uh, number of records in this area. But we now know that it's only people who have been renting single family houses, making this much money or more, uh, which is great. There are also these additional personal details, uh, depending on, again, who your ideal client is. You can use all of these uh, so we have age, we also have uh, political affiliation, 
We have different um, interests and hobbies, different occupation groups. So depending on what business you're in, you can get very, very specific in the personal details and then personal interests. There's also, if they are a, a donor to certain charities, if they own cat, uh, cats or dogs or other pets. Um, but the thing that I'm very excited about with this system uh, is under other, I'm gonna scroll down and you can see estimated home value, home purchase price. So there are lots and lots of different options, but I'm gonna come down here to estimated credit rating. This is one of the most powerful ways to filter people. Um, so in real estate, it's not a moral judgment if somebody has a lower credit score, but it will be significantly more difficult to qualify for a mortgage. So it is maybe not the highest and best use of your marketing dollars to put your message in front of people who can't qualify for mortgage, right? So that takes it down from 30 something thousand people down to 312 people. And then you can see this list, 312 people is $29.48. That's less than 10 cents a lead. It's really, really an amazing price for this quality of information. Once you've filtered whatever list you want, then all you do is click buy list. I'll show you in a moment what it looks like in the address book. I wanna run through one other way that you could use this. Let's say you are a restaurant owner and you want to send a welcome to the neighborhood, bring this postcard in for 10% off your next purchase. Then we would look for only new movers. We'll click that here, geography. We'll just leave the same address and just out of, you know, we'll just see who shows up. One of the things that I really like about this system is it allows you to uh, spend some time and really uh, poke around and figure out exactly what uh, works best for your marketing. So this, we're going to narrow this down to the last 30 days uh, and we'll just see what shows up. And this is all um, single family dwelling and multifamily dwelling. So 443 people, that's a pretty good list, right? These are people who they have just moved into the area, it doesn't segment based on purchase or rent, but they are, all, they are new within the last 30 days. So you could purchase this list, 443 people, it's a hundred bucks. And then um, our pro members, uh, part of the pro membership includes free four by six postcards or the five and a half by eight and a half postcards are only 19 cents. So you could uh, do a marketing campaign with those, or you could also uh, do greeting cards to each of these people. Welcome to the neighborhood. Join our new movers club. Uh, they bring the card in and then they're part of the club. They get some type of discount. That would be one way to do it. And then I'll show you one other quick way that you can use this. If you only want new homeowners, um, Again, let's say you are a hairstylist and you want to wel welcome people to the neighborhood and let them know that you, you exist. So mailing list, uh, we're gonna look for only new homeowners. These are people who've purchased uh, uh, property, geography, same thing within two miles of the same address. Demography, date range, all 1,171 people, maybe a little higher than you wanna market to, we'll say 30 days. Now I know hairstylists, it's very difficult because people tend to be loyal. However, with people moving, especially recently, uh, moving across country, moving to their home, state, city, county, whatever it is, um, there is a lot of opportunity out there. So this, you can see when the little red um, uh, exclamation point shows up, it means that there's not enough records. It needs to have a minimum of 100. So I'll show you a quick trick if you come to geography we will simply increase the radius that we are looking for. Perfect, 114 records, all 114 of these records, $28.50, it's a great price. Um, and so that gives you 114 new uh, homeowners within two and a half miles of this address. And then all you do is click buy list, and I will show you what it looks like. I'm gonna to go to my address book. It imports into your address book and whatever information is available is what shows up. If it's individuals, traditionally, that's just gonna be their name and their address. If it's businesses and they have publicly available other contact information, meaning uh, a phone number or an email, 
then that would be included as well. This is a mailing list I just bought a few days ago. And you can see this is what it looks like when it shows up in your system. So there's their name and their address. Uh, and what's also great about this system is once you purchase the um, mailing list, you own the mailing list. So that means that you can take that information and do with it whatever you would like in terms of marketing to those people. So uh, my background is in real estate. Once the world opens up again, I can take that list and I can go door knock those people. If I do any kind of digital advertising, I can take that information on that list and use it to find uh, copycat audiences, lookalike audiences uh, online. But the point that I want to make is once you purchase the list, you own the list. Mailbox Power does not retain any, you know, you're not leasing it from us or anything like that. You buy it and you own it. So that is a, a quick overview on how to use the build a mailing list feature, easily one of the most powerful features of Mailbox Power. Thanks so much.